How's it going YouTube? It is the Small Engine Kit here and today I'll be showing you how to hone the cylinder walls of your engine. The tools you'll need to do this is a drill, a um, honing attachment for your drill, and some lubrication. In here I have some 5W30 engine oil. So first, you're going to want to twist this and put some lubrication on your cylinder walls. Just like that. Make sure to spread the oil or the lubrication all over your cylinder walls. Just like that. You're going to want to do that with all four cylinders. Once you got your cylinder walls all lubed up and coated with oil, you're going to want to get your drill and loosen this until this attachment fits inside the drill. Once you have the drill attachment on the drill here, you're gonna want to push it down, compress it, so, and then slide it in the cylinder. Make sure that these uh, these discs here are lined up briefly against the uh, cylinder walls. Now you're gonna go at medium pace and just go up and down, slow motions. Make sure you keep going. You don't wanna burn or anything. You wanna keep going consistent. Just like that. Now grab a cloth, wipe it, and check your cylinder walls and see if there's any more rust or surface rust and anything crazy on the sides. Also, if you're wondering where I got this tool, I got it from Canadian Tire. You could find it at Harbor Freight for the Americans. You can find it on Amazon. It was about 30 bucks and it makes a nice cross hatching pattern as you can see. There's no more surface rust, as in cylinder two. You can see that there's some surface rust on the top there. Looks really well. I'm gonna go across all four cylinders, flip the block over, do it again, just to make sure, and then measure them to make sure I still have a 75.5 millimeter bore size. So I put some extra oil for lubrication on the sides because you'll see that when you're using the, the hone um, attachment, It'll let, leave over some, some grit, and it's really hard to take off, but all you do is put some, some lubrication on the cylinder walls, just like that, and then grab your rag or your shop towel, and just clean the cylinder walls, and it'll come off eventually. But you can see that there's no more surface rust, and that there's cross hatches happening. Looks really good. Um, so I'm going to clean the rest of these cylinder walls and show you when I get the finished result. There we go. All the cylinders are now rehoned, and there's no more surface rust on the cylinder walls. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.